Hi, I'm Rachel Donegan. I am the Howe Libraries Emerging Technologies Librarian, and I am here to show you how to make something every week. This is Howe Makers. Hi, and welcome to Howe Makers. Today, we are going to fix a hole in a garment. So this um, little dress was my daughter's, and it has a little hole in it. And I'm going to repair that hole so that I can pass this along to um, a friend of mine who has a girl who's a little bit younger than my daughter. And um, first thing I'm gonna do actually is give it a little press. So let's do that first. So here we are in my craft room and I have my iron warming up. I have my garment here and I have the fabric that I've chosen for the patch, um, which is really colorful. Um, what I'm gonna do is um, called visible mending. So I'm going to make a patch that does not try to hide um, or make it look like there was never a hole here. I'm gonna make a patch right next to this pocket that covers this hole that's gonna be very bright and vibrant and add sort of a, a decorative element to this um, and a little bit of personality to this simple dress. Um, so I'm going to iron both of these. Just I'm just gonna iron where the, the patch is going to go. I'm not gonna worry about the rest of the the dress and I'm just gonna do a little corner of this uh, fabric right here. Since I decided to make a heart-shaped patch, I cut a, um, this is uh, like a chipboard, like a cereal box kinds of, kind of cardboard. Um, I just cut out a heart and I freehanded this heart, although I could have printed one out or found something heart-shaped to trace, but I just freehanded this one. Um, and I'm going to put it on my, I'm going to put it on my fabric and I already started tracing it. You can see here, I wanted to see if my pen would, would show up there. So what I'm going to do now is just trace, but I'm going to leave about a quarter inch around it as I trace it. Um, because what's going to happen is we're going to iron this fabric around this template to make this heart shape. So we need a little bit of extra. So I'm going to do that next. It doesn't have to be exact because we're just going to be folding this extra little quarter inch over here and it's going to be on the back of our patch so we're not going to see it. Okay, there we go. I have it all cut out and I also added some slits going around the curves because, um, and especially right here in the middle of the heart. So there's a little slice that goes almost to the edge of the cardboard but not quite. So I don't know if I can show these on camera. But see how there's one there. There's one there. That will just make it easier for me to fold this fabric around this template. Um, so the next thing is to just fold all this over. So this is gonna be the top of our patch. Um, so one thing that I should have mentioned is you should be doing all of this on the wrong side of the fabric, um, which I did, luckily. <laughs> so this is the right side of the, fab of the uh, patch the fabric, so that's gonna go up on the dress. Um, and this cardboard is gonna come out. We're just using it to help us make this nice shape here. All right, let's go over to the, let's go over to the ironing board, move our dress out of the way. And uh, one thing you have to be really careful of too is burning your fingers. You don't wanna burn your fingers and your fingers tend to be kind of close to your work for this project. So I already have my iron um, right here. My iron already warmed up, so I'm gonna use my regular iron. But I also forgot, I also have this iron, which is a little applique iron, which is perfect for this. So I should have warmed this up, um, but this just lets you go in and like really like just do that and like press. So this little metal part gets hot and it's super, super nice. I don't use it as much as I should because I forget that I have it. So <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go in here and um, we're gonna flip each of these over and we're gonna iron it. It'll be easier with two hands, so. Let's do that next. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, so all I did was fold this over my template all the way around. I did have a little extra bulk right here at the bottom and I just trimmed that off. Just wanna make sure that you press it down really well one more time. Um, just make sure everything is lying really, really flat. So before I pull this cardboard off, I'm gonna do one more thing, which is put a little bit of glue, glue stick, around this edge of the fabric. I'm gonna to try to avoid 
the um, cardboard and I'm going to try to just get it on the edge there because that is how I'm going to attach this patch temporarily to our dress. So the glue, which is washable, will come out eventually, but it will help us hold the patch in place while we sew it so we don't have to worry about it shifting around. So now I have placed my patch. I did take out the cardboard, make sure you do that. Um, after you put glue around that little folded over edge, just pop this out and then flip your patch over. Make sure you cover up the hole, um, which I have. I don't see the hole anymore. <laughs> and um, there's a couple little points where, you know, things are a little bit rough, but I'm going to just turn those under when I sew it. And we're gonna sew this with a whip stitch. So we're gonna go up and we're just gonna go around very, very like tiny little stitches all the way around this patch. And then we'll actually be completely done. So like a lot of things like painting, <laughs> um, painting a room um, or refinishing some furniture, it's all about the prep work, right? So this takes a little bit of time to get it ready to go. But then when you're all prepped, um, the sewing is the last step and that's the easy part. So let's do that. So one more optional step is to put your work area into an embroidery hoop. So I've done that here because I had an embroidery hoop right here, completely not necessary, but it does sort of hold everything in place for you um, and just gives you a nice little handle to hang onto your work. So um, I did that and I also threaded my needle. I found a kind of a skinny needle. Um, you don't need anything too heavy, um, but I like a longer needle. Um, because I do a lot of quilting and those require little short needles, but they're a little bit harder to work with unless you're quilting. So this I kind of consider a sort of general purpose needle for most kinds of sewing. And you only need one um, length of thread. You don't need to double it over because this doesn't have to bear any sort of strain or anything. Um, so, and I put a knot in the end. Where's my knot? There we go. <laughs> There's the knot in the end. And I'm gonna start from the back um, and I think I'm going to start like right here on the straight part just because that'll be easier and then I'll just go around that way. So let's get started. Okay, so I've come up right here next to my patch from the bottom and my knot is holding. So what I'm going to do is just take a little tiny stitch and just barely grab my patch fabric right there. Oops. And then pull it tight. And then grab one more little stitch. And I'm doing a whip stitch, so you can see it's going around this edge, which will hold it down. I'm gonna take pretty small stitches. And I chose a dark uh, thread because this is kind of a dark patch, and that's where the stitches, if there's any stitches showing, they're gonna show on the top of the patch. Um, but the smaller your stitches and the more even, the better. So when I get to this little point, I'm gonna tuck this little raw, a little bit of a raw edge sticking out. I'm just gonna sort of stuff that back in without losing my point, hopefully. See there, we've got the point all done, and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up. So there is the patch all done, all sewn all the way around on this dress, and you can see it from the back. There was some back. I think it's also really sweet from the back. Um, <laughs> you can see all the little stitches, and there's our, our hole all covered up. And there we go, good as new and kind of a fun little extra little uh, design on this dress. So I'm very happy with that. Thanks so much for joining me again on How Makers. Here is our finished uh, garment with our little heart patch on it. Um, and I realized it would have been a lot easier to do a simple square patch or a circle patch, but I'm glad we took the extra time and extra effort to make this really cute 
unique, um, one-of-a-kind patch today. I um, hope you enjoy mending things, fixing things, and um, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.